Today, Ford unveiled a new Bronco. We're gonna get into that. We're also gonna just quickly talk about the F-150 Raptor reveal today too. Hi, my name is Eric and I make videos for car, truck, and SUV enthusiasts. If that's you, consider subscribing and slap a like in this video. Let's get into it. Another big day at Ford. So yesterday I talked about the announcement of the F-150 Raptor. We got that information. I'll get into that a little bit later, what we're actually going to see. But we're going to talk about the Bronco right now. So Ford is sponsoring the King of Hammers. They're competing at the King of Hammers. That is a race held in Johnson Valley, California. It's happening right now. And today, Ford unveiled a new version of the Bronco. There's some good news and there's some bad news about this Bronco. The bad news is you won't be able to buy it anytime soon. The good news is Ford is building this as a race vehicle. They're really putting an emphasis on off-road performance. They're putting an emphasis, it looks like, on durability and basically making this thing competitive. So this is called the Bronco. 4600. So at King of Hammers, Ford is competing in two different classes with the Bronco. One is the 4400 Unlimited class, and that is a class where the Bronco is essentially just a tube frame vehicle that is sort of inspired by the street driven Bronco. So this Bronco is based on the 2021 Ford Bronco two door with the base Sasquatch package. So that's the base for this. It is utilizing the race tested, but the production 2.7 liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6. It's got the 10 speed select shift automatic transmission and what they're calling a second generation T6 chassis. So they are using this vehicle as a test bed for a growing list of Ford licensed accessories and Ford performance parts. Now this, the suspension actually is quite different from what we're getting in the street Bronco. What the press release says is a competition tuned high performance off-road stability suspension that features Fox coilover shocks with remote reservoirs and Fox pneumatic bump shops at all four corners it bump stops. It also features Wildwood engineering brakes and 35 inch BF Goodrich mud terrain TA KM3 tires. They've also done a lot to beef up the uh, drivetrain too. So it's got heavy duty front portal hubs uh, from 74 Weld and they're mounted to Triton engineering control arms with heavy duty Howe hydraulic steering rack with oil cooler. So no electric steering rack. Factory Dana Adven tech e-locking differential with RCV custom half shafts. There's a lot of other suspension pieces in here too. Here's the actual unveiling at the King of Hammers. You can see them pulling back the black cover and it's got some bright red paintwork, which I like. It's also got some white there too. So this has some custom colors. Uh, and I don't know if Ford's gonna offer these colors on the future Bronco. That would be pretty nice to see. So I know this wasn't a street going Bronco that we can buy, but Ford has also publicly said that the Bronco that we're gonna get for 2021, there's gonna be no further announcements for future Broncos for 2021 at least. So I don't think we're gonna see a reveal of a high performance version just yet for the Bronco, but stay tuned. We're gonna see something uh, hopefully in the next couple months regarding, I guess what would be a 2022, a high performance version like a, a Warthog. So keep looking for the rumors. There's gonna be plenty of rumors and spy photography about the upcoming uh, 2022 Bronco. But for right now, Ford has said that they have dropped all the information that they're gonna drop regarding this, at least up to now. Stay tuned, we're gonna talk about the F-150 Raptor reveal next. Ford is calling this the most off-road capable and connected F-150 Raptor ever. And just to cut to the chase right away, they didn't announce a V8, not right now, but Ford in fact has confirmed that we are going to get a V8. I was looking at Twitter, Mike Levine on Twitter, who is uh, Ford Communications. He has said that a V8 is coming. So we can expect to see more reveal details, more launch details about a V8 coming in the near future. But for right now, a little bit of a disappointment that we didn't get it right now, but Ford is going to tease out the news. I guess they don't want to drop all of their eggs into one media public relations basket at the same time. But what we are going to get is a version of the current 3.5 liter EcoBoost. 
Interestingly enough, Ford actually hasn't said exactly what the horsepower is going to be on it. Some of the quick highlights of the Raptor, and I'll do a full video later if you want, let me know down below if you want me to cover the Raptor in detail, is we've got uh, the next generation of Fox shocks with live valve technology. We got 37 inch tires and they've got this new Sync 4 system which has over the year up, uh, updates so it is connected. We don't know the specific numbers about power yet, but it has better low end torque, greater maximum towing and increased maximum payload capability. And it's gonna have a range of 500 miles, an active dual exhaust, and they do say the Bronco or the Raptor R is coming next year. They are retaining the rear solid axle. I was actually wrong about that in my prediction, but they are updating it significantly. They're doing a five link rear suspension, which features extra long trailing arms to better maintain axle position on rough terrain, a pan hard rod and 24 inch coil springs, which they say is the longest in the class. And also sophisticated engine management software, which means the truck can put more torque to the rear wheels for quicker starts off the line, faster acceleration, better throttle response, and better comfort. The Raptor will be available summer 2021, so that's just a few months away. No word on pricing yet, and I think they're gonna release more details about the V8 as we roll through the year. If you're not subscribed yet, I certainly would appreciate it if you did that. Stay updated with the news. I've also got reviews coming down the pipeline too. My name is Eric, and I will see you in the next video.